Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Omi and today we are playing some more Starters Order 7. Here at Rascal's Retreat, new season, new horses, 30 of them. Not 30, not 30 new horses, but 30 were running this season. Um, yeah, it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. It's quite a lot of them. We'll we'll get we'll we'll get to them as we get to them. Uh, twenty seven run. We did have thirty two. I released two of them. So if you're not sporting a horse that you really liked, uh, either they've been renamed, which I don't think I did. I normally rename the yearlings to reflect the breeding. I haven't done that for a couple of seasons here and there. But in general, I kind of like doing that. If we do check our current yearlings, you can see we got Dream Cuckoo, Double Dat, Double Cena. Uh, <laughs> twice you won't be able to see them. Uh, Gold Bad Joke. Uh, bad Joke, make a good name for a horse. Golden Fag, Double C, Trombol, Niku, as in Nick Naku. Uh, see, had to contract it somewhere. Double points, Takiana, Satisfaction. Oh, that's a terrible one. That's terrible, but I love it. Um, yeah, uh, Double Darius and Random Aces. Yeah, some of them are really easy to see why. Some of them are just terrible, terrible puns, and I remain unapologetic for that. So, that's the breeding that's been done as well. Pause it, look at it, analyze it, whatever. We've got so many races to do, we're not going to stick around. Yao, Holy Norma. Danat Nawal does not run. Those are the three which don't run. Also, is it just me that when when I read or say the word Holy Norma, like, does anybody else hear Dio in their mind singing Holy Diver? Is that just me? Holy Norma. Yeah, anyone? No? Okay. Thought it was just me. So, moving swiftly on. Uh, we've got a race in two days. I'm not sure we're going to be ready for. So, Point Attack is running in a maiden. It's damn. Yeah, a lo long way to go. Some of these two-year-olds definitely won't make it. Because so many three-year-olds and five, uh, four-year-olds as well. Just crazy. Uh, let's go re book that one then because that's not coming up so i like the book where we've got less than eight horses in a field so i'm looking for sevens and below which is why all these races are booked i might have to book as a five hold on hold on where's the one i wasn't sure about there were a, there were a few i wasn't sure about gold might be one gold might be one he says, just completely going in on gold. Uh, so, point it tack instead can go in that 10. And then gold. I'm really not sure. Five or six furlongs for gold. I'm not sure for any of them. So, I think we've only got three at five. So, making gold have another one is probably okay oh there's four horses in that one there's four horses and a couple but there's four in there let's get gold on gold in that race okay in the fifth yeah that fang looks really decent and of course sweet chili we think could be really really good give them a couple of days to get up to date and ready Horses raring to go. Horses raring to go. I mean, any given Saturday is not going to make that five furlong. So, start of the season is always this way for me where I'm booking and rebooking maidens if they're not going to be ready. But, like, it's not even green. It was, like, one day away. Safranella, another one. Um, I think Safranella was a f six. It might be a five, though. It might be a five. I'm going to book six. We're going to go all the way, all the way back to the end of the month there. So we've got maidens all over the place. 
ninth. I mean, that one might make it. The 11th should make it, yeah. We should be okay from there on. Talk to me might be the one we rebook again. And talk to me is one of the five, yes? Check my notes, yes. Talk is running at five furlongs. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let, let, let's go into the day's racing, and we're going to skip them from here to the result. So, those of you that are new, I don't watch Maidens. Why? Because we've got so many to run, and they're so trolly. Like, you can have the world's greatest two-year-old, but they run green, and they just don't win on stupid reasons, and it's really annoying. And why are we... Why is our apprentice riding? Probably because we've got too many for our main jockey to ride. I guess that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, we've got 16 two-year-olds this season. That's 16 maidens. We're probably going to run at least half of those in two to three maidens before they win, if they win. I'm not watching 48 races that really mean nothing. Give us a little bit of data, but no extra data for watching. So, yeah, we don't we don't watch maidens. Oh, come on. Let's get off. Let's get off to a good start. That fang. A length behind, slightly hampered, ran on very unlucky. Okay. Uh, six furlongs. Six furlongs worked well for that fang. We're up now in our first five furlong made. Now, put Sweet Chili over five. I think it suits better. Um, it's what the breeding indicator says. So... Come on, sweet chili. We love we love the look of this horse early on. But will it race well? Can it win? And will it gain any distance? Will we ever be able to run at more than five or six furlongs? That's really bad. Like that's really bad. Such a good looking horse, and we just can't run well. So Oh, Okay, that fan was okay. Sweet chili, though, just... I mean, it's already a 70 potential. Honestly, we could retire it to the field after a poor maiden and, and be happy. <laughs> we could. I might want to run sweet chili at six. Okay, I just made a note of that. And Nick Naku and George W's. Nick Double Coup, uh, another horse that we should really enjoy seeing run. Oh, please, 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 please. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to skip the days and see what's coming up when we've got singles. Again, it's the... Okay, so the apprentice jockey, parading a little lazy, survey says... Ran green. So that's a useless run, pretty much. Apart from clearing the greenness, which is just how new it is and inexperienced. So apart from actually clearing that, like, running green does nothing. So, okay, sweet. We're three maidens in. <laughs> three maidens in. Second, third, and fifth. Hey, they all bred pretty quickly there. They're all bred already. Halifax, Mariana, Hooded Fang, and Dara. George W. with Laurentine. Leading Authority with Pointe Black. And Taclil with Citron. So, there we go. Dream Europe, the only one that did not actually uh, breed. But if we put another breeding mare in, I'll be tempted to give them over to them. And QVivo, I mean, I've had some people ask to breed from QVivo. The thing I like about this horse is, like, it finished fifth, a couple of sevens, but apart from that, it's in the money. It's in top three everywhere. Even fifth is in the money. But, like, so many wins, and then a bunch of third places, second places, you know, didn't do badly. Didn't do badly. Comes from, you know, over a million earners on both sides. A grade one mare, I mean, that's not bad. We don't know what these two-year-olds are going to turn out like. We don't know what these 
yearlings going to turn up with um you know a bit of time we'll be able to tell but we haven't been able to right now but q vivo does interest me as well right now i'm not sure about rolling aces um spring heel jack we haven't actually bred from either and wimble ball so there's a few here we could dive into but with george w here with our own halifax also able to breed from um yeah i don't know if i'm gonna dip too far down that list so yeah let me know what you think of that in the comment section below as well but i'm just not sure right now that's why we bred the way we did okay we got a seven furlong grade three for point the dream and then we got a maiden for talk to me so we can just skip the day after the first race and see what the result was for talk to me again so many times point the dream little lazy tipsters say slay j better say no way uh slay j is a little lazy as well a ruben star joint favorite okay i mean who knows who knows don't you think that that looks like it is we're not favored sam furlong grade three point of dream decent horse needs some work needs a bit of luck um i've got to be honest i don't think it makes it to the breeding barn i just don't think it lives up to the other members we got in there right now poor start out of the gate be yeah, as a three-year-old like we'll see if he can win some grade ones it's got a lot of competition at this level from our own breeding barn but you know it's gone to the front it's trying to lead out a little bit here round the bend down to two furlongs from home coming in now to the straight can we push out no we can't and in fact here comes the field and i do mean the entire field made of silk ruben star now pushing up got a few more challenges from deep we might not be dead last but we're gonna be close <laughs> made of silk pushing out there over ruben star slay j up into third almost take second i think we might have been sixth yeah so yeah that wasn't good that wasn't good either wow we're off to a bad start we're off to a bad start four maidens no wins that sucks talk to me stayed on well oh you were six furlong you were six furlong you might be you might be better over six okay okay just made a little note of that Marie W on point attack. A mile one. Okay. This one, this is game day. This is 100% game day. This is a mile one in South Africa. With some nice horses. For Marie W, who we really haven't seen race much. She didn't run well at a mile. She really didn't run well at a at a seven furlongs. Now we could move up to a mile one and run well. I mean, she should be able to do it. Good cruising burst, good potential, good extra speed. Okay, doesn't have a ton of finish, but we'll we'll take the cruising burst over that at this point. Uh, when you move over a mile then finish application becomes slightly less important and when you know that's when you really want cruising burst to kick in as well so yeah I, I think i've got to run it i think i've got to run it she looks too good not to but it's a foreign race not only that it's a th south african race not only that but it's an unproven three-year-old 
so many things. But if she wins... Oh, I don't think she will. I don't think she will win. But if she did win, hypothetically, if she did win at a mile one in South Africa, with those stats, and yes, she doesn't have great pace here, the speed's okay, acceleration's okay, but if she did, then that's got to be a triple crown contender. Right? It's, it's got to be. Top extra speed, good potential, but a cruising burst. Like, to win a Kentucky Derby, you don't really need much more than that. Confidence, enthusiasm isn't that low. Consistency is. That could, that could hinder us. But, like, if she wins, like, that's, that's got to be, for me, that's got to be a possibility of putting her in the triple chrome races. So, we'll see. Uh, 235. So, the first one's going to be the maiden in that case. So, let's see. Point it tack. Not going to look at it too much. And, oh, my God, we don't win again. No extra triple coups. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Marie, Marie, Marie. Oh, I'm so nervous. Um, don't know the field. Don't know anything. Tipsters say Miss Doody. Um, everything just seems okay. Let's just go for it. Mile one in Kenilworth. Oh, I think it's Kenilworth. It's definitely South Africa, but I think it's Kenilworth. The main farms paddock stakes. Grid one for three roads and above. One other American just inside his attachment with a pink hat on. And we're off to a decent start here on the outside. We do know that attachment is a little wound up and they're going to drift around a bit. We're going to stick on the outside here of this chasing pack. Lindien, Kaleidoscope and Remat lead us out. Looks like Cora Pearl leading out this back group as well down now to the final four. We're moving up down this outside. Come around the turn here. Two and a half furlongs. We're going to zoom out a bit. and Oh my god, we're going early. We are going early. I hope there's no good closes in this race. Because if so, we just set ourselves up to fail. Final furlong. Nobody coming from deep. Nobody pushing on. Nobody challenging just yet. Hugh will come in the final half of Furlong. Hugh will come the challengers. Point three, point two, Miss Doody, don't do it. Don't do it, Miss Doody. Oh my god, that was close, and we've got a triple crown horse on our hands. We've got a triple crown contender. Oh, disqualify, Miss Doody. Disqualify. Damn. Damn. No, it's a dead heat. That's a grid one. That's a grid one. <laughs> Marie W gets a grid one. Let's go. Didn't gain any potential from it. I mean, that's uh, that's not great. A big jump up, though. 15 uh, handicap rating points. But yeah. Oh, if we could do that then. Yeah. If we can do that in South Africa, surely we can do that in the Preakness. It's the only race we won last last week at all. Last week. Last season. Um, so yeah, we, we can probably defend that. But yeah, no, I think that's... Um, that's a possible, pros, possible triple crown winner. Right there. Oh, my God. 20 minutes into the video. Look how many races we still got to go. Luckily, mostly maidens. We can just do this. Bold Cuckoo wins a maiden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How five and a quarter. That's my kind of horse. That's my kind of horse. Yes, Cuckoo. And again, good extra speed. Decent potential. 
just good all round. Not low anywhere, not super high anywhere, apart from extra speed. If we gain a lot of potential, oh, I, I can see, I can see that being a beastly horse. Again, it might only be a sprinter. We will see. But hey, we win a maiden. Win a great one, win a maiden. Lord of the house. Okay, that's the third place. Running at six, trip appeared to suit well, weekend. The maybe a five furlong. Let me mark that down. Mirage door. Okay, you've got to be a five. You've got to be a five, surely. No, sure, no. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Possibly run at five. I'll possibly run her at five. Or him at five. But yeah. Okay. I hate, I hate seeing not genuine. I hate seeing it. Kidding. Oh my god. Correct the queen. I mean, there's no way she's going to make that race now, is she? Let's go find out. She struggled to find races. Struggled to find. Look at that stamina bar. <laughs> oh, there was a there was a grade two, I think, or a grade one at like a mile four. I was putting her in. What actually were we putting her in? Oh, I think it was just that. Yeah, no, the the grade races come later. That's right. Um, but yeah, that was going to be a tough race anyway. But I wanted to see it. I wanted to see it. Ah, oh, but yeah. No, out for so, so long. Okay. Night Naku. Santinez Stakes, grade two. We've won a grade three. Again, a really nice horse. We got potential. We got potential to fill here. Night Nak, Sam Furlong. In his Santa in his stakes, grade two. And off to a good start. Okay. So we're middle of the pack here. Uh, I'm not sure we know anyone else in this field. We're gonna lead a lead out with peacetime. Um But yeah, we don't really know too many of these three year olds. I don't remember them. We don't really pay attention to the two year old seasons much. Computer is lagging quite a lot. We're in a really tough position. There is no room to run. This is what you call terrible jockeying. Terrible jockeying. We finally get let out. And we're not going to recover. Terrible jockeying. Got us locked in place that we could not get up. Oh, we would have won that. We would have won that race easily. Race keenly, short of room. Gold on gold, not even close. Oh my god, faded. Faded over five. That's a lazy horse right there. Could have settled better, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not going well so far, is it? We're two from 12 for the season. We're trying to get back up to a 50% win rate. We're 2 of 12 for the season. That's not going to happen. Bo Cuckoo wins a maiden. Marie W wins a grade 1. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking pretty much as soon as they hit their potential. I'm just throwing them right out there. Oh... I'm disappointed we didn't win a couple more. 
Okay, come up firing in seventh. Okay. You want five? Maybe you want five furlongs? Is that what we're on about? No chance, soon weekend. Doesn't seem to be any reason why you wouldn't win that one. Maybe we try you at five. I knew we had a lot of six furlongs in here, so... It wouldn't surprise me that some of these might be fives. Over five, ran in snatches. Okay, so we just need to go again on that one. Oh, okay. Three today. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yes. See, this is why I don't watch Maidens. I would be tearing my hair out. Well, I don't have much left. But I'd be tearing my hair out at this point. Okay, Red Dynamite. Ran green. Okay, okay, okay. So the run greens run in snatches. I'm not too worried about them. We haven't seen their best yet. Some of the others need distance adjustments. Um... Bolted on the way to the post. That one just... Yeah, that one's just too stressed to run. So again, we just run another maiden and see. Um, but yeah, it's not been the best so far. It's not been the best so far. Two of 17. Plenty of races to pull that back round. And only two more maidens in that. Wow. Wow. Uh, I think it's like 10th of February, yeah. We got quite some time. We can just like skip through these races pretty quickly. Don't look at the two year old auction. Do not get tempted by a two year old auction. This is a grade three race. I'm pretty sure this is a grade three we're running. Um yeah, it's the one mile New York grade three. So why is Royal Ballerina and Rios Rosana in this as grade one winners? Because there is not many races. But there goes Rios Rosana up to the front. Royal Ballerina on the inside at the rear in the dark blue silks. We've got a dangerous closer and a dangerous front runner. We're going to come up the inside. We need to push out here now over the final two furlongs. We don't get blocked off. we got... Penderben coming up on the outside. We got Rios Rosana up the inside. Doorboy trying to split the difference here. There goes Rios. There goes Rios Rosana. Look at that. That's just terrible. Betsy coming in. Lonnie Briscoe, Strictly Pink. Yeah, that's done. That's more than done. May not have enjoyed the dirt. Are you kidding me? This. There's not a lot on turf in America. I mean... Like, do you mean it's being kicked up in their face? Is that... Is that what we mean there? May not have enjoyed the dirt. I mean, the only racist one on was turf. Oh, you've been a pain in my ass. Oh, Korea. You're done. Rebel Roof is done. I don't care. Could be a great horse. Not going to find out. I'm, I've got too many horses. I've got nine three-year-olds, five four-year-olds, and 12 or something two-year-olds. Maybe more. Maybe 15, 60. I don't know. But, like, it's too much. It's too much. So Rebel Roof will be the first one out. That's fine. We still got plenty to race for. Okay. Uh, maiden. Skip the Maiden. William Hay wins. Let's go. Behind, ran in snatches. Didn't run well at all, basically. Did not run well at all, but absolutely dominated the race. I'm happy. I'm happy. We've got... We've got a maiden win there that I'm kind of excited about. 
Uh, Hamilton. Oh, this is going to be tough. Queen's Rock gets another grade one race. Hamilton. Five furlong. A sprint in South Africa. There's no way we should win that over five furlongs. There was nothing there. Right, yeah, there was nothing there. Um, but we're going to go find out. Because why not? Why not? Everybody else is losing. Why not Hamilton as well? Up first, though, Queen's Rook. So unlucky not to get a grade one last year. We gave her a lot of chances. She couldn't get the job done. Now we're going to see if we can make it work. So, not a bad start. Everybody kind of in a line here. Does mean we're going to run a wide bend. The field doesn't collapse down too much. Coming off the turn. One and a half furlongs to go. And no separation from any horse right now as we come up to the final furlong marker. Lijinsky's Beauty on the outside coming with us. Christmas Tart. I do remember the name. They're dangerous up the inside, maybe. But it looks like we're just going to hold off. Maybe push out a tiny bit. Queen's Rook. Queen's Rook is a grade one winner. Queen's Rook is finally a grade one winner. 85 extra speed, 80 potential. No finish application, no cruising burst, no battling quality. Nothing that's going to help them apart from those stats. But it's enough. She's got plenty of speed. She gets the job done. Oh, that one. That one. Ooh, that one feels good. That one feels good to finally get that one out of the way. Like we knew she could win, but like Holy Norma, when it finally comes, it's good. Now, I believe Danat Nawal's the only four-year-old without a grade one win. Oh, don't know the field, don't know these horses, don't know what Hamilton can do. We're just going to dive in and find out. Let's go. Let's get another grade one. Five furlong in South Africa, the Cape Flying Championship. Grade one for three-year-olds and above. Our three-year-olds on the outside. Gets off to a decent start. Does get off to a decent start. Jockey drifts way wide, so I've got to zoom out like a crazy person. Down to the final two furlongs. We're slipping down the order a little bit. We haven't yet kicked on. Let's go, Hamilton. Come on, Hamilton. Final furlong. Time to put the work in. It's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen at all. End up falling back, 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 all the way down to ninth or, yeah, in ninth. Yeah, too much to ask. Too much to ask for. Okay. Oh, we're back out to Kenilworth. Miss Doody's here again with Higgy Dat this time. Who did Miss Doody... Tie with? Oh, that was Marie W. Of course it was. That was the dead heat. I knew it was the dead heat. I just couldn't think who it was, but it was Marie W. Okay, so we're going up against Miss Doody with Higgy Dat. Furlong shorter. And then Adonis at a mile two. You know what? I'm okay with that. Samarinda is in Farmington. She's got a grid three to run. So nowhere near as important. Higgy Dat, Miss Doody. Let's go. Let's go. We couldn't separate from Miss Doody last time. Let's see if we can now. The Club of I, Mallorca, Sticks. Decent start. We're going to surge forward a little bit. And now we're going to stalk him with Lindien. Kaleidoscope is there. Miss Doody. Like, this is the same field, basically, that we, we tied... And got the dead heat for Marie W. See then what Higgy can do up the inside. In a good position. Pushing out. Final two furlongs. There's a two furlong marker. Higgy that went supremely early. Like a lot of our horses go early. Only a couple of them have gone late. I think we're starting to breed in that trait to them now. 
What I don't like is that it leads to comebacks like this. And we get absolutely blown away. And... Yeah. Not good. Not good. Um, It was a big ask. It was. It really, really was. But he's won a grade one before, so I thought it would be worth the... Uh, It'd be worth the run to find out. Okay, Adonis, you should be, like, you should be the horse here, right? Top rated on weight, tipsters backing you, bookies backing you, like, pretty much the best form. One only two grade one winners. Oh, please, please. I really want this horse to become, like, the best. Summit celebrated with mum. Grade one. Over a mile and two furlongs. We're off and running quite well. Long race. We're going to settle into the back. Let Akashan take us out with Whiskey Magic and Philly de la Terra just there. Uh, Tembaladora. In the middle, and then back to Fettuccini, Hood de Brass, and ourselves. Final four and a half now. Thought we were going to get blocked off there. We're going to make our move up the field. Final three, down to the final two and a half here. We're up on the shoulder of Akashan, and we are pushing out now again. Starting to make our move. Starting to make our move. But can we hold on to it? I know we like this distance. I know we've got the quality. Furlong marker, we've got about a two to three length lead over the field. Fettuccini up into second. Here comes Hudibras. Nobody's coming close. Silver Adonis, absolutely dominant. Absolutely dominant down that back stretch. Yes. Love that. And straight into Samarinda's race. Let's go. Let's go. We might have to cut off after this one because this video is getting long. We still got like four or five races booked. We got a lot of a lot of maidens to rebook, so we could fill up the next video with some of those and the races we already got booked, as well as one or two others we can pick up along the way. But I'd like to see Samarinda win here again. Another nice horse, not a superb horse, maybe. Good move there up the outside of the bend. Final one and a half furlongs alongside Natrang and Rubenstar. Very dangerous horse. Yomandri coming from the uh, back here. Carib's Leap's got a good lead. And we're not cutting into it at all. In fact, the entire field doesn't move. We all stay the same pace. I hate that like half a furlong after the, the post, we apparently like zoomed in front there I hate that coming up to the turn like we're, we're apparently coming into first the way the name list changed do we maybe want a mile yeah we do okay we always learning. We're always learning. So, there we go. Oh, no, we've actually only got... I thought we had more races. Oh, yeah, no, one got ruled out. This is a maiden. This doesn't count. Safranana does not win. Ran green. Ran green still came in second. Okay. Um, We just rebook another one of those. That's fine. Black W, what's this? This is the grade one. Yeah, this is... Sorry, this is another grade three. Over seven furlongs. Let's go race. Let's finish off with another good one. I'm really hoping now that this one actually does suit and that we do like seven furlongs. We've got so many now between seven furlongs and a mile. 
We had four. Samarinda just went up to a mile from seven furlongs. So we got her and Higgy that there. But Night Naku, Point of Dream, and Black W all at seven furlongs. I'd rather keep them at seven. Oh, I'd rather one of them move up to a mile one, Marie W move up to a mile two, and then another one move up to a mile. Okay, this race has been okay. We're in good position. It's only a grade three. But we are fighting for the line here, and we are going to come in with a nice run from Black W to pick up a victory. It's a grade three. We've won a grade three before. I want to try and get a better grade on us but hey we finish off with the win 6 of 26 no I mean that's below 50 uh, that's below 25 percent we're trying to hit that 50 percent win rate that's almost impossible to do but we're still close like seven years in we're only just starting to dip below and these maidens are what's killing us so yeah but one and a half million prize money already on the year. We're doing pretty well. But yeah, 5th of February already run 26 races. Oh boy. Uh, a big mixed bag, honestly. Queen's Rock finally gets a grade one. Um, Adonis continues dominating. That's four grade ones now for them. We've got a grade one on Marie W., Really happy with that. I think those went really well. Higgy didn't run well. Point of Dream didn't run well. But apart from that, really, Hamilton as well, I guess. I'm happy. The two-year-old's very mixed bag. Only two maiden wins. A bunch of seconds, a few thirds, fourths, fifths, sixes. A seventh and an eighth. I mean, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go through. I'm going to go spend some time figuring out what we're doing with those two-year-olds. But I think the three- and four-year-olds, they've started well enough. We'll see what they can do. No doubt some of these won't make it. We've already lost one. But we're starting from so many horses. Down to 29. At the turn of the year, we had 32. To start the season, we had 30. And coming into February, we're down to 29. Who will make it? Who will fall? Place your bets now. Um, Again, these three-year-olds. Who, if any, do you think has a shot at Kentucky Derby, Preakness, and or Belmont for those triple crown races? I mean, Karate Queen for Belmont, surely. Mile four. I mean, she's right in that distance. That's where she loves. Marie W for the Preakness right, do right now, I think, is the best bet. Higgy Dat seems, you know, he's a grade one winner over a mile. Could probably do something. So maybe him and the Preakness, Marie W could win the Kentucky Derby. Crafty Queen could win the Belmont. Can any horse win multiples? I really don't know. And the two-year-olds. I don't know where we are on those. So, yeah, we'll see. We will see. But let me know what you think. Until next time, as always, thanks very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Please do like and comment on the video. It does help sort of promote it on YouTube that way. If you haven't yet subscribed and you are enjoying yourself, please consider doing so. Hit that notification bell to see when a new video goes live. Every day we should have, every weekday, we should have a status orders video variety on the weekends and if you haven't joined the discord yet it's in the description below it's a place to discuss ask your questions get feedback share graphics mods advice all that kind of stuff so feel free to join there i'll see you next time though till then take care i'll see you soon